Hi, um, my name is Katie Letary, and I'm the author of Dark Things I Adore, which is the October featured book for Mystery at the Library, which I'm so stoked about. I'm so excited to be part of this fantastic initiative by Sourcebooks and Baker and Taylor. So I've enjoyed some Mystery at the Library events in the past, so I'm like incredibly honored to be the featured book for October. So thank you so much. Um, so Dark Things I Adore. So Dark Things I Adore is um, a sort of twisty, dark thriller set in Maine. Um, uh, our main characters are Audra and Max. Audra is a gifted art student at the Boston Institute for the Visual Arts. Max is her professor and thesis advisor there. Um, the book opens with Audra inviting slash luring Max to her um, remote home in Maine. It's beautiful but it is very remote where she lives and um, Max thinks uh, he's been invited up there to consummate some like long simmering sexual tension between them but he like couldn't be more wrong about that. Audra has some much darker much more devious plans in store. Max just doesn't know it yet so he's about to spend a super harrowing October weekend actually in Maine with Audra um, making some atonement uh, going through some real stuff uh, put up to him by Audra who knows a really deep dark secret from his past and she wants to make him pay for it. So there's this um, timeline um, in the present and then the second major timeline takes place about 30 years prior in the 1980s and it's mostly set at the Lupin Valley Arts Collective also set in Maine and little by little you start to see how this timeline from the 1980s at the Lupin Valley Arts Collective and this timeline uh, from the present with Max and Audra um, start to weave and intersect um, until the conclusion when they kind of collide in this pretty catastrophic way in particular for Max and you start to see why Audra is doing all the things she's doing to Max. Um, so um, it's a book with a laser focused woman out for revenge which I'm really into. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and I'm super excited to talk to you all in October for Mystery at the Library. Thank you so much.